as away goes the 2017 series champion. She wrapped up the series with a very good fourth place finish at Blair Castle. And she can come here knowing yeah, that right, she has Mr. won Stokes. the 30,000 first prize for winning the 2017 series. But there is, of course, the matter of the leg. So Gemma Tattersall, Chica Bella P, has no seconds in hand of Chris Burton and Graf Liberty. 43.2. I mean, I think this is amazing. We see all these horses. It's unbelievable. You can't really describe the quality of these horses. It is unbelievable. You see horse. I say, want to say I love this horse as well. Again and again. And again. It, it's just amazing with this series how they bring these the absolutely best horses of the world. Oh. And uh, it's so, so good. As uh, Gemma Tattersall, Chica Bella P, just running a little bit deep to the parallel away from the first water. Well, cast your mind back a year. This was a really influential moment in the 2016, the very first event rider masters. Gemma was the hot favorite. We were on Chico Bella P. We were in the middle of the cross country phase and a run out here at Blenheim ended the series and ended the leg for them. Today is going to be different. We need a clear round from Chico Bella P. She's won the series, but this is personal pride. Well, Laura Collett taking the top spot at the top of the podium for a little bit longer. She's going to have to enjoy that for a few moments because Chris Burton is coming very swiftly in that direction. Certainly if uh, how fast he rides across the country is any uh, indication. But let's go and hear from the lady herself. Oh, Laura, you had a hold. It was a tense time. Yeah, I've, um, I've only ever been held on that horse once and it was a disaster because he basically ran blind with me afterwards. So I wasn't really looking forward to coming to those next two combinations. But he was foot perfect and he's, I don't know if it's possible, but he's getting better with age. And I just, yeah, had an amazing time out there. It's as quick as we've seen you go on him. I know, I was terrified. <laughs> well done. I'm afraid you're not going to be holding that seat for long, though. Well, no, not when Berto follows me. <laughs> well... Uh, Gemma Tattersall and Chica Bella P have nothing in hand over Chris Burton and Graf Liberty. But I they're coming to the top of the hill and they're actually two seconds up on the clock at the St. James's Place question. Uh, I was going to say, Nicole, I don't think they, they might not need it. They only picked up 1.6 time penalties at Belton, just four seconds over. They were clear and inside at Bramham 2016. They picked up two time penalties at Jardy this year. You'll remember it, Nicole. It was a wonderful round. Lots of people were picking up time penalties. Star Connection, the guy who went on and won with Michael Young, they picked up more time penalties than that. It was a brilliant round. Chico Bella P has the engine. She has the skill. She can jump clear. She can do dressage. This is her opportunity. She can go. She doesn't need any seconds over Chris Burton. She can go inside the time. And I think she's going very fast and had a very good round so far. All those combinations, she's ridden spot on and it looks like a very, very classy ride so far. Well, Chica Bella P finished just off the podium in Jardy. Isn't a horse that we've seen on many occasions. She yep, scored 43.2 in the dressage. Be clear in the show jumping to see her in seventh position coming forward to the final cross country. It is the reverse order cross country here. The series finale of the Event Rider Masters at the Blenheim Palace International Horse Trials. And we are very much into the top 10. Izzy Taylor, our dressage and show jumping leader, will be the last horse out on course. We're just slightly down on the clock at the turning question down at fence 17. But we've certainly seen a couple of horses really catching up time, Ludwig, on this long run away from the final combination there. Yeah, you definitely can. But you need to remember, she's been going very fast in the beginning. And it's a little bit how much fuel has she got left in the horse. I mean, we know, for example, Graf Liberty. It's a horse with that's been around four-star tracks. It has the stamina, we know that. But we don't know with Chicobella. I, I, I don't think it's been to a four-star before. And this is maybe where you can see the difference with the experience of the horses. And, you know, you can catch up time, but you need a fresh horse in it to be able to do so. Well, we'll get a clock on Gemma very shortly. We'll do a check on her as she comes to these offset houses. Now, she'd need to be taking off these offset houses with a minute left on the clock. She's actually there or thereabouts, but she cannot afford to be even a second over the time. So she is going to really need to put her foot down on the accelerator as she heads towards home. Can she do it, Dan? Yes, she can do it. I think she's in a great rhythm. I think this is very similar to the round we saw at Jardy. Doesn't always look like she's traveling as fast as some of the other horses, but that rhythm, that skill that you're seeing from the rider, that willingness that you're seeing from the horse, they can get there. 
But it's also remembering that the last combination was it last year where she had a run out in the end. Oh, and yeah. it's, it, it's going to be tough because she needs to balance time against position and it's 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 not it finished yet. Yeah. Twenty well, penalties finished. is more expensive than a couple of seconds. So Gemma Tattersall, Chica Bella P is heading towards home. She's just got the last to go. She's got eight seconds to get home. I don't think she's going to do it. She has nothing in hand of our live podium leader, Chris Burton. She's won the 2017 season, but she is a few seconds over 1.6, two time penalties, 45.2. So let's go and hear from the lady currently sitting in second on the podium. You love this series, don't you? <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of fun. Uh, she is such a wonderful mare. She only comes out now and again and uh, double clear today. She's just fabulous. Just getting a bit tired towards the end. Yeah, she just got a bit breathless a couple of times, so might need to get that checked out. But um, yeah, she did get a bit tired, but she's still amazing. She keeps the jump and she's so good on her line. Another great result. Well done, Gem. Thank you.